Another mod for my Toyota Tacoma has arrived. Well, good morning, everybody, and welcome back to the channel. Hey, I'm going to take a look. I have another mod that's arrived for the Toyota Tacoma right down here. So we're going to throw it in the bed. See, I am going to use the bed in my Tacoma. Unbox it, and then I'll show you guys how I'm going to install it. Okay, here we go. Let's pull these out of the box. We'll take a look. Let's see here. They're quite heavy, actually. Heavier than I would have expected. Those up there. Make sure there's nothing else in here. Um, oh, they have a name on them. Let's see. There's what they're called. I'm not sure exactly what that means, but nice little uh, symbol on there. Anyway, it is a bag to carry them around. I'm probably not going to be using this. So, let's uh, flip it around the other way, I guess. Go ahead and unzip this. You can probably guess already what it is, I assume. There you go. These are recovery boards. And you can see they are a lovely voodoo blue have a little service card that came here looks like uh, they want you to let them know if you have any trouble that's always a good sign um, here's what they look like um, they do have the little rivets or places on them for traction here um, they are molded in so you can see on the back here they are not replaceable I know on some of the ex more expensive versions uh, you can actually replace these little nubs and quite frankly for the price that you pay for those uh, they should give you free nubs to replace because they're expensive. These were, uh, I believe, under 60 bucks. I don't recall. There'll be a link down below if you're interested in these. Um, so they didn't cost a fortune. That's one thing I like. Um, to be honest, if they got me out of a situation one or two times and then had to be replaced, that would be okay with me for the number of times that I will probably actually use these. So that's not such a big deal for me. Um, they do have little mounting holes in them. Hoping uh, you guys can see right here. Uh, I think there's only four. Yeah, so right here and then two over on this side. And then they do have holes here that you could use for mounting, I suppose, too, if you wanted. Um, I'm going to mount them here. Uh, you guys can see them from the back. They'll set flush up against the bed rack. And let me uh, move the camera over and I'll show you my idea for putting them up. My thinking for doing these, obviously, like you've probably seen a million times before, is to mount them right here on the sides of the bed rack. Um, I had thought about maybe putting one on each side, but I think that would create a blind spot on my other side. In other words, looking out of the back window and down the side, and I don't really want that. Here, I don't think I'll have a a problem at all with that uh, because it's behind the seat on the driver's side anyway so I don't think that's a big deal um, I'm gonna put them together and as I said they'll mount uh, both of them right here sandwiched together on the side of the bed rack uh, I think that's pretty good there you can kind of get a look at the color obviously it's not a perfect match um, to the voodoo blue but it's as close as I could get um, for everything that I saw out there so let's go over to the workbench here and I'll show you what I'm going to use to mount them with. Okay, here is the hardware that I'm going to use to mount them, at least what I'm thinking right now. Um, I did go ahead and paint everything black um, because, again, I like the blacked out look and I thought that would look good on the truck. Uh, the heads you'll be able to see on the outside, so having those black I think is pretty good. They are a, I believe it's a three inch bolt uh, that'll go through the holes on the um, boards themselves and then I just got these little twisty knobs whatever you want to call them threaded knobs these obviously will go over the screws let's go ahead and pop one out of here I haven't actually taken them out yet um, they'll go through the screws the screws will actually or on the screws rather will protrude through here if necessary um, that's one thing I liked about these is uh, there's room for the screw to go through if it's too long not a big deal the only other issue I have for this I guess is figuring out how to lock it up um, obviously I can't just put them on and leave them freewheeling if I do that then 
they'll probably look great on somebody else's truck. Uh, so I'm not going to do that. My thinking as far as locking them down is uh, somehow, maybe, uh, to feed my cable through over here. This is the one that I had used right over here um, on the spare tire. I think I'm going to try to feed that through somehow. And then on the truck itself, maybe run that through uh, these hooks uh, or tie downs that are on the sides. Uh, the black ones that you can see right back there underneath the cleat. You have the cleat there and then in the corner there's that black kind of screen door looking handle. I'm going to try to put the uh, hoop, if you will, of that steel rope through there and then padlock it. So that means I have to feed it somehow through the uh, uh, discovery board or recovery board, I should say, and then lock it up down there. That's my plan. So you would, unfortunately, be able to see uh, the edge of that rope here on the outside of the recovery board, maybe, uh, depending on how I can figure out how to do it. So that's my plan to lock them down. Um, I'm very curious if anybody out there knows of a better way to do that, a better way to lock them down. I thought about just putting a padlock on them um, somewhere uh, and doing it that way as opposed to using that rope, you know, that wire rope. But I have it, so why not use it, right? Anyway, I just wanted to show you guys uh, what's coming. Uh, still looking for a lock uh, for the uh, beaver step that I put on the back of the Tacoma. I actually had ordered something, but when it came, it was too short. It didn't fit all the way through the... Uh, Nat's still out here. Didn't fit all the way through the hitch uh, holes, if you will. Uh, so I have to order a longer one, at least three inches. So still going to do that. Anyway, there will be an install video coming up uh, down the road here a little bit. I didn't want this video to get too long. I know you guys don't like long videos, uh, so I'll do that in a separate video. I'm still trying to figure out the lock exactly, so once I nail that down, we'll go ahead and, uh, and finish it up. Don't forget, leave a comment if you know uh, some sort of a locking mechanism for that that will work better than my rope idea. Also, real quick, if you haven't before and you're interested, check out my other channel. It is Rob Motive JT, all about my 2020 Jeep Gladiator. Don't forget to click that notification bell so that you don't miss out on any upcoming videos. And do me a favor, smash that subscribe button on the way out. Thanks for watching. Stay safe out there. Bye.